Guys, we just landed in Kuala Lumpur. One thing that always amazes me is how beautiful it is when we fly. How amazing and lucky that we are to get to see the world from this angle, which people couldn't have done uh, like even a hundred years ago. It is amazing. And the views were fantastic going over Langkawi. The islands and the landscape. Just the clouds. So nice. So we have some exciting news. Last night we got an email. We do some work for Formula One schools program and we have been invited to come and stay at one of the nicest hotels in Malaysia. So instead of our original Airbnb we had planned, we are staying at a lovely five-star resort for the next couple of days while we're filming. But we didn't really know this was going to happen, so we didn't bring the clothes uh, in anticipation of this. So I need to go and buy a few things right now. And yeah. luckily, at the airport, there's a shopping centre. So we just went to go and buy some nice clothes to uh, at least feel a bit more of the park when we're going to this five-star place. And classically, our cars being rejected, cars being blocked. We checked our bank balance, and we have zero money. We managed to buy the clothes and go into our overdraft. So. Uh, we at least build a park, but we're going to this five-star place with zero money at all. <sighs> um, feeling pretty stressed, to be honest. We haven't been able to work because of the internet pretty much the time we've been here, so it's getting a little bit stressful again. <laughs> we felt like we made it because we can make a lot of money, but if we don't work, all the money goes. And this time, because we've been traveling and we've actually been doing stuff, we've been spending money and that's been great. But it's getting a little bit stressful. Why are you feeling stressed? Because we have no money and we're about to do some work and I feel just more stressed. People want to see real emotion. This is real. They don't want to see you saying everything that's is real. perfect. That's real. It's offensive. You're offensive. You're not being helpful right now. So? I'm hot and bothered. You're shoving a camera on my face. This isn't going to make me feel any better. You always is grumpy. I am around here. Guys, we've just checked in. We've gone and had lunch with Bobby, who is our friend from Formula One, and we are now staying in this bloody lovely resort for the next five days. We're going to be doing some filming for them here at the event. We're getting media press passes, mm -hmm. so we get to have some access all areas. And so we'll bring you behind the scenes of what we're doing here as well over the next few days. Super excited. And also, we're going to get free tickets to go to Sunway. What is the place called? Sunway? Yeah, Sunway. Yeah, like Subway, but not to Sunway Lagoon and Sunway mm. Lagoon is a, a water, water park, park and and it's got rides and it's also rides. got animals and we kind of don't really like animals in zoos it's kind of wrong but it's free and we won't be actually money putting money so. towards it because it comes free with the room so you can't judge us and I still like seeing animals and they have white tigers <sighs> but then why are they in a cage they shouldn't be in a cage come and join come us on, guys let's show you what it's or something. I don't know. You're embarrassing yourself in front of everyone. Stop it. Do you feel like an idiot when you get things wrong that you're planning to say? Yeah. Because you look like an idiot. Leave me alone! And you know this is going in. That's the worst thing about the video. It blows my mind that we had never ever made a video two years ago and now we're here at a Formula One school event. We're making videos. Like, I don't know. It's part of the we're in Kuala Lumpur working, what the hell? I don't know. I'm a digital nomads now. What's that about? So Wednesday we have some time off from filming and we have decided to spend it at the water park at our hotel, which is right here, Sunway Lagoon. Yeah, and I'm so excited. area where they have to show everything about their car, all the information. They also have to submit a proposal to the judges and give a presentation to the judges for about 10 minutes. Fingers crossed they win. They even managed to get, so they have to get all their own sponsors. This is all part of it. 
This team has even created their own mascot, Little Dejo, who I think Dejo in Thai means fire, so it's like Little Fire is his name. And here he is! How cute! We are so, so happy right now because our team of Thailand has just come in seventh place for the day so far and they have only been doing this for 13 weeks. All the other teams, which is over 50 other teams, have been practicing the whole year leading up to this point and they've only been practicing for 13 weeks and they've still managed to come seventh place. It's incredible. Not only this, the whole sponsorship, the layout, the presentation, everything else is fantastic. They've done such a good job. And seventh place in the race does not mean they've lost because the judges take everything into account. The media, the marketing, the, the presentation that they give to them. So it's not just the race that counts, it's every aspect of it. I don't understand why Emma gets to be VIP and I get to just be stinky media. We all know. Why? Because I'm important. But I don't know what this means you get to do instead of me. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed to see behind the scenes here at Formula One in Schools World Championships. And we hope that our team gets into the finals and we'll be able to support that for you also. So we're going to go and explore a bit of Kuala Lumpur tomorrow as we have the day off here. So really excited to go and try some really tasty Malaysian food. Oh yes, we have heard good things and we are very excited to try it. So what should they do? Uh, I think they need to smash something. And like, no, yeah. that is liking it. <laughs> Comment on things and subscribe to things. Of course.